Okay, so let's play. Let's learn colors. Team Purple, Lady, Caldy, Ryan, and Caitlin. Team Yellow, Rebecca, Ace, Dirty Steven, Victor comes to Sodor. Team Blue, Thomas comes for breakfast, Vinny, Ben, and Connor. Team Red, Fiery Flynn, Sodor Fire Truck, Rosie, and Team Colors James. Team Green, Shiny Wheels Percy, Oliver, Big City Engine, Paxton. And Team White, Merlin, Hugo, Dennis, and Surprise Spencer. Yellow! Okay, Team Yellow, who's gonna start it off? Rebecca? Number 22 on her side plate, number one in your hearts, folks, here is Rebecca. Oh, wow, Rebecca, almost to the gold track, folks. 29 and a half inches for number 22. White. Oh, Dennis. Dennis isn't very well known on our channel. That's usually because he is working all the time. Go! Oh! We'll be generous and say seven and a half for Dennis, but that doesn't look too good. Yellow again, wow. Ah! Ace, the race car known for being free and easy. We got Sir Topham Hat in there. Wow! He randomly got 17 inches, but let's give him an honest shake of the tail here, folks. Go! Oh! Oh, I think, I think Sir Topham Hat's head stuck him. Oh, wow, two inches for Sir Topham Hat and Ace. White again, wow, weird. Ah, nice. Hugo, a very interesting engine, more of a rail zeppelin if you ask us here. Let's see how he does. Wow, and the rail zeppelin. She does have the magic touch, 33 inches, Hugo. Green. Christmas tunes playing in the background. Are oh, you want this? You want this guy? Paxton, the nicest of all the diesels. Let's see how he does. Go! Good lead off, and he goes, and oh, he's on the gold track. 33 inches for Paxton. Purple. Oh. <laughs> Lady, she should be used to having that gold track. I think she'll do very well. Go. Lady, oh, a little disappointing. 15 inches for Lady. Green. Is that the one you want? Oh, you like that one? And that one? <laughs> and that one. Dad's favorite engine, big city engine. There's no engine like this guy. Go! And there he goes! 19 inches he had. Red, finally. Ah, Rosie is red. We love this version of Rosie. Let's see how she does, folks. Go! Great! Oh, wow! 37 and a half inches. Great job, Rosie. Ah, blue. I think this guy will make a breakthrough. Thomas comes to breakfast. We absolutely love this, Thomas, even though he's got yolk on his face. Oh, a little bit of a disappointing run for Thomas. Only 12 inches. I knew it was yellow. Let's go with Victor. Very hard to find here is Victor comes to Sodor in all his Cuban glory. Great run so far and he's on the gold track, folks. 34 inches, Victor does come to Sodor in style. Purple. Ryan. Ryan, or as I call him, Purple Thomas. Let's see how this guy does. Nice run for Ryan. We'll call that 21 inches. I don't think that'll be good enough to go to the next round. Yellow. Yellow's been having some good luck today, actually. Now we have proven time and again that Stevens with a big front wheel, they do the best on these jumps. They really get going. Let's see how this guy does. 
Whoa, and he goes and he's off the tracks again. Wow. These Stevens, they always fly off the tracks. They always do so well. I think one day we're just gonna have to extend the track, race all of our Stevens and see who the fastest really is. Green. Celebrating 60 years Percy, or as we call them shiny wheels Percy, these wheels always go fast. Except for now. 12 inches, Percy's eliminated. White. Let's surprise everyone and go with Merlin. From Journey Beyond Sodor, Merlin the Invisible. Wow, look at this, whoa! 36 inches for Merlin. Blue. Ha ha. Connor is far and away one of our most popular engines here on Sodor. I hope he does very well. Oh, Connor, what a horrible landing. Not even an inch. Red. I've been looking forward to racing this guy. Sodor Fire Engine, and this guy, we call him Fireman Dan. Let's see if he can stay in. I think Dan got trapped. Harold, what did you do? Fireman Dan is a little tall. I think we're gonna have to run without him. Let's see how this goes. Much better run, but not enough. We are at 25 and a half inches. Blue. Let's bring on the bad guy. Vinny from The Great Race, one of Dad's favorite movies. This is actually one of my favorite characters. I love this engine. Oh, and like his buddy Connor, Vinny made it even less far. Wow. Ah. Should we go with Coldy or Caitlin? Good choice. Coldy, he's the mountain engine. He, let's give him go backwards. Beautiful run, but not enough to get on the gold track. Coldy, 27 inches. Red. Come on, James. Team color is James. He's holding on to all those scarves. Oh, and his front wheels came off. 12 inches, not enough for James. White. Only one engine and white left. Spencer, as surprised as I am that he's here, let's see how he does. Oh, good job for Spencer, and he's on the gold track, unbelievable. 34 and a half inches, Liam, we got a big engine. Yeah, I'm surprised too, Spencer. Red. Shoo. This is a special version of Flynn. He's got that fire burning logs and that smoke covered face all over him. Interesting jump for Flynn, but at 20 and a half inches, it won't be enough. Ah, green. It's Mr. Oliver, the number 11 from the Great Western Railway. Oh, disappointing jump for Oliver, 15 and a half inches. Blue. From the Sodor China Clay Company, it's Ben. Good attempt, 22 inches, maybe not good enough. Our final engine in today's competition representing Team Purple, it's Streamline Caitlin. Well, she made it farther than Connor and Vinny, five inches, well, that's something. Welcome to the second round, seven engines remain by making it on the gold track. Team Purple and Team Blue have been eliminated. We've got two representatives of Team Yellow and three representatives of Team White. White did really good. Yellow. Let's get Steven over and done with. Here's Steven's first attempt. And he is on! Steven showing once again, this is Dirty Steven showing why these guys go the farthest. He is off the track already. White. They're all fast. And it's the Rail Zeppelin who you go! Oh, his front wheels got derailed at 16 inches. White again. I'm surprised. Mer Merlin, the completely visible, those, those three funnels, I suppose. Let's get him going. Wow. Oh, man. That was looking so good. He's been derailed at 11 inches. Merlin, no. Red. 
from the Northwestern Railway, number 37, it is Rosie. Oh no, 11 inches, at least she stayed on the track. Green. Paxton made it to the second round very early in the race. Hopefully he makes it onto the third. Whoa, only 12 inches. I don't know what's going on. Paxton's eliminated now. White. Spencer surprises the rest of us that he's made it to the second round. Hopefully he can make it to the third here. Oh, great run for Spencer, but only 23 inches. That's not good at all. Final engine in the second round, Victor comes to Sodor. He will decide whether or not we have a third round. If he makes it, we're going on. If not, then we have a winner. No pressure, Victor, but there's a lot on the line, my friend. Unreal, look at that! Unreal, Victor! 38 inches, wow! Unbelievable, folks, like some form of Cinderella story. Victor actually made it the last minute onto the gold track, meaning we're at the third round here. Yellow winning the day with two yellow engines remaining. We have Steven, the perennial champion, and Victor comes to Sodor, the surprise challenger. Let's see who wins. First up is Dirty Steven with those big front wheels. We expect him to do well, but let's find out how well he will do. Oh no! Oh no! Steven! 15 inches! His front wheel's falling off the track! 15 inches! Steven! No! Once again, Victor comes to Sodor. The pressure's on him now, folks. He has a great chance of winning this. All he has to do is go past 15 inches and he will be today's winner. And he does! And he makes it to the gold track for the third time! 34 inches is the final number. Victor comes to Sodor, wins today's jumping competition. I'm proud of his narrow gauge engine, Victor. Here's Mr. Percival presenting the trophy. Wow, what a great story here. Victor comes to Sodor and ends up taking the trophy. Dusty Stevens still so shocked that he is stuck where he fell. He can't even get up, folks. I'm surprised.